Hi, I'm JJ, aka The Int Programmer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install PyTorch, the latest version of PyTorch from source in Windows, actually Windows 10. So, unfortunately, my video got my recording crashed earlier, so I couldn't show you everything you needed. So, I'm going to I'm going to show you a few things that you have to install before you get this before you're able to to run PyTorch and even run the install programs. Now I'm probably going to run into a lot of errors when I'm trying to build this but I'm going to try to show them all rather than edit out all the all the hurdles I have to overcome in the process so you know what you have to deal with when building it from source. Now I may also release an abridged version as well so here we go. First, you actually need to install Git for Windows. So just Google that and then download Git for Windows right here at this URL. Then you also need to download CMake for Windows. Go to this URL. download it, install it, next clone this repository here by going or you, I, I put in a custom directory but you don't have to clone this next go to this repository Copy this URL, clone that, next, go into the PyTorch scripts folder that you, were, you cloned, copy everything except copy the internal folder and then all these batch files them into your PyTorch directory. It's going to say you need to re overwrite these because I already have them there. Next, go to the PyTorch directory. Depending on your version of CUDA, I have CUDA 90 so I run CUDA 90. 9.0. If you have CUDA 9.1 run that one. If you have CUDA 8.0 run that, etc. So well, it says you, are, you need Visual Studio 2017 and you can just, well this is the page but you just Google Visual Studio 2017. Download the community version here. I already have it downloaded so I just need to run it. Okay, so once you're here, go to individual components. You actually want version 1411 of the cool toolkit. So let's look for that here. That looks like the version where we need. So 
So let's download that. Oh, what the heck? Let's add the workloads. And I'm going to pause the video while it installs everything because it's going to take a while and you probably don't want to watch all of it. Okay, so now Visual Studio is installed. Let's get out the installer. Let's close the command line prompt, go back in. Rerun the install program. Yes, we'd like to continue. And this file will basically, hopefully, most likely I'm going to need to run it a couple of times, but yeah, like they said here, <coughs> I forgot to run git submodule update init. gonna pause the video again just so you don't have to wait okay we're back now let's run the CUDA 90 batch file again yes we'd like to continue hopefully this time we're gonna make some more progress And to spare you the waiting, I'm going to pause again until either it finishes or I encounter another error. Okay, so we've encountered an error here. And actually, I've never seen this error before while building building. PyTorch. So we're going to just have to Google this and see what's going on. to spare you the the time I'm gonna just pause until I find the solution and tell you about it okay I think I found the error so here says the Windows SDK SDK version 8.1 was not found so let's go back open up the install file again for Visual Studio and let's install the SDK version 8.1. So go modify. Individual components. this and modify and it's gonna take a while to install that so I'm gonna pause the video okay we're done installing let's just 
come back here and hope there are no errors this time around Okay, this time it said no CMake C compiler could be found. So I'm going to pause this and figure out what's going on. Okay, off screen I actually got it to work. So while it's running here, I'm going to tell you what I did. Basically, I had to go back into this Visual Studio installer. Go to modify and go individual components. Now remember that Windows <coughs> 8.1 SDK. I have to uncheck that instead select select instead select this version, Windows 10 SDK for your version of Windows 10. Now there may be a way to find out what version of Windows 10 you're running. So I think you can click on properties here and let me see. your PC. Okay, here. So you go into about your PC and say, look at the OS build, 16.299. So then you need to select the 16.299 version of the SDK. If you select this, it's going to select all three and you install it, but mine's already installed. So let's go back to the inst installer here and I'm going to pause it until I get an error or it finishes. So I'm going to be back. Hopefully it works this time. Okay, we're back. And you can see here, it seems like we've installed PyTorch correctly. Now, to test our installation, we actually want to go, let's go to the C drive. So we don't accidentally import something from the PyTorch build directory. Now let's open up the IPython console. Let's import torch. Now let's check the torch version and for some reason it says 0 0.5.0 but if I so now let's come here let's test the Arcuda so I'm gonna keep this keep this window open. We're gonna have a test task manager open here. First let's see our CUDA current device. See if CUDA is available. True. Next, let's try creating a tensor on the, the GPU and go and see. Let's open up 
our detail actually performance here and look at our our NVIDIA GPU memory use you can see these numbers slightly tick up which means it's using the GPU so our installation here is successful 